it was around this time that the whole G Unit beef got worse because Jimmy Henchman's son got slapped up. And that set off a whole really bad set of events. Right. Which ultimately, you know, ended up with Jimmy Henchman in prison. Mm-hmm. Um, now, when you heard about that happening, what'd you think? I felt like if it was my son, then, you know, I don't know. Maybe the same events might have occurred. And yeah. again, I wasn't directly involved in what transpired. Correct. But if it was my son, matter of fact, let's just say this. If you slap my son, I'm coming to see you. Point right. blank, period. And I can't speak for Jimmy or his actions or anything that he did or say what he did or didn't do. It's not me. But I know that I have a son and it gets real serious when we get to talking about my kids. The jokes go out the window. Yeah. It's about life. And I would trade my life 10 times over so that they can breathe for another, I don't know, 24 hours if it was my choice. So if you slap my son, you going, you might meet your maker. I'm just, that's just me. Well, you know, Tony Yeo, he's a regular on my show. And, and I remember we talked about the situation and, you know, his mom's house got shot up oh, after that happened. Yep. And what he said was, I get it. And I understand, you know what I'm saying? Because they, you know, when, when you smack somebody's kid, I understand, you know. I, I totally understand. It was like kids and women ain't supposed to be involved in beef. So I guess the rules was broken. But after a point, you know, if you shoot out my mom's crib, it's fuck you forever. Like, I don't give a fuck what happened. But at the end of the day, when kids and um, and uh, women get involved, it gets a little more crazy. So I understand. Your kid got slapped. Yeah, he was do, do, he did what he's supposed to do, but he was under investigation while he was doing that. You know, if my son's my son got slapped up, the same thing would probably happen in reverse. So he he's not mad over the chain of events right. that happened. He's from the street. He understands the logistics of what happens, and it was a very unfortunate event. Um, you know, the guy who actually did the assault ended up losing his life. It was just, I feel like things just escalated to a really ugly level at that yeah, point. And I mean, Yayo, man, Yayo, Yayo know what it is too. I think that uh, as far as loyalty goes, uh, you Yayo might be the poster boy for what 50 was looking for. Yayo held 100%. it down the whole time. And so I, I commend and I salute, I salute, like literally salute Yayo for holding his man down. That's his man. Mm-hmm. I don't ever think that at any point in time, Yayo should have went any other direction except the direction 50 was going. I also don't think, you know, I think Banks should have stayed that way. I think uh, Buck should have stayed that way, but I'm, this is only me. I just know that me, I'm just a different individual. And so I had to, uh, you know, make my presence felt and do what I had to do based on sit- situations that um, I knew um, that I would come out of on top. And so I made decisions, but I don't got no problems with uh, with Yale or 50 or nobody I did back then. I like literally wanted them niggas to die. I didn't even give a fuck. I just wanted them to die because that was, I'm from the streets. And so when you got a problem with somebody in the streets, you just want niggas to disappear. So that was back then. These days, man, nothing, you know, my hat's off. I, I see Yale with 50 doing his thing. I see yeah. 50 doing his thing. Do your thing. 